Hi, we're here in the great Northwest to check out some of the people behind the Microsoft C6 professional development system. Are you with me? Because we all know what C6 can do by now, right? Don't we? I mean, it's got registered based parameter passing, globally optimizing code generator, what else? Loop optimization, right? Super efficient base pointers that can access far data as fast as a 16-bit pointer. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. I mean, we all know what that is, right? You're with me there. But listen, you don't have to take my word for it. Let's go hear what the people who did the design have to say. Let's go listen to them. Really, the, I mean, the, the, the thing that, that, everybody's gonna, that everybody looks for in a, in a, in a compiler of any sort um, is, is execution speed. And C6 far and away beats anything that, that we have. The productivity increase in using PWB is just immense. It has a really terrific help system. And it's got really cool printed documentation, too. I think the most exciting part is, is the browser. It's an entirely new technology that we're bringing to the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you've heard this whole thing before. I mean, what makes C6 so great? I mean, what's the big deal? Well, it's faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap capital TC in a single bound. It's a compiler. It's a debugger. It's super C6. Who are these people? Stuck way up here in a corner of America where it always rains? Anyway, I'm glad you asked because these are some pretty dedicated people, let me tell you. When I started this, I only had one child, and now I have two and they both talk. I mean, <laughs> a lot of stuff has happened there. My four-year-old daughter, when, when we went down this last weekend to see relatives, somebody asked her what her last name was, and she said it was Microsoft. Some people think designing a system like this C6 is a piece of cake. Well, let me tell you, it wasn't easy. It took over two and a half years in a row, all right? It wasn't all fun and games. At times, we felt like we were hauling stones to leave them scattered about a field. But we did build something quite nice, and we feel very good about it. At one point, uh, I actually did think that we would finish the product be before I got married and uh, changed, actually changed my wedding date because of C6. Testing C6, thousands of hours. That's what it takes to produce a product with advanced capabilities like C6. Every once in a while, they pack the whole thing up, take it to another state, and that's where the bugs really show up. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it takes. That's what it takes. We promised the sites who were working in Houston that they um, could get any free Microsoft product that they wanted if they found 10 bugs in the product, and I think we ended up shipping about 40 new product. Um, uh, pieces of software to the sites down there. We have like the the groundhog theory of uh, beta testing. Like if you, you know, if you, you you deliver the the new version of the product, and if you find a bug on the first day, then it means you're going to have three more weeks of testing, you know, or something. So we just keep doing that over and over. So all the setbacks, um, even though they were disheartening, because you want to get it out, um, you really just had to hang tough and 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 make it what the vision of it was to be. Now what makes this product so cool is the people. Okay? Now it's a total commitment. Now, how do you think they pulled this thing off? Pizzas. I like the uh, peanut butter cookies actually. Locks and bagels. A lot of caffeine. Popcorn, chocolate chip cookies, pizza, Cheerio. It would be definitely uh, the Surgeon General and have something to say about C6. Our hall hockey golf tennis games were pretty good. And they were slap shots just screaming down the hallway high speed. You know that, had to sort of stay on your toes coming out. Basically, we found that sporting paraphernalia in general was extremely helpful. Uh, hockey sticks, much more so than basketballs. Okay, okay, what well, you're probably wondering, I mean, what gets these people excited? I mean, what makes them just go random? What makes their FETs, you know, tunnel? What makes their, their electrons make those little quantum jumps? I mean, in sort of a shrinking and turning of probabilities. I mean, what do you think it is? It's shipping it. I just love to ship. Ship it. Ship it. Ship it good. I really believe in this thing. I think this is one of the most significant products we put together ever. It got, it was wearing at the end, but um, I'm very proud of what people did. I would like to think that people are going to use this thing because we sort of busted our butts to produce it. In terms of the effort that's gone into the project, it's really been, been uh, um, the, the most the most spectacular project we've undertaken in languages at Microsoft. 
So get your hands on C6 from Microsoft. It's designed by professionals for pros like you. It's the coolest. Hey, it's been great talking to you, but I gotta go. <laughs> Glad that's over with. Now here's the rest of the story. You know how every millennium or so something truly amazing happens? Like this? Well in the software world something equally amazing has just erupted. It's this. Microsoft C6 Professional Development System. It's made by people at Microsoft for people in the development world. But look, uh, you don't have to take my word for it. Let's go hear what the people who did the design have to say. Let's go listen to them. You know, C6 was fun, but then I'm the kind of guy who likes death marches. <laughs> what made it take so long? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just did. I personally did very little except run around and worry. There's a scientific explanation for people who commit themselves to a project like C6. It's called... It's called Gates of Micromania. Soft Bill Micromania Microbillomania. Of course, there were memorable moments. Uh. Um. I guess, uh. Uh. Uh, maybe not. What was the, the happiest moment of the C6 project? Uh, happiest moment. Mm. Gosh, I don't know. I uh, can't really, can't really think of any. <laughs> testing Microsoft C6. Thousands of hours of testing by dedicated people. Every once in a while, pack the whole thing up, take it to another state, just to see if you have something in your mouth that's about to fly out. Excuse me. Some crumb from sandwich just came loose. Excuse me. That's where you find out where the bugs are. But to get a product with advanced capabilities like Microsoft C6, that's what it takes. It wasn't a bad bug anyway. See what I mean? Dedicated. It's weird. But it wasn't all fun and games. There were some rough times, too. The bleakest part is, is believing the schedules for a little bit. <laughs> and uh, you know, because the initial schedule set a shipment in, of June of uh, 89 or something like that. There have been more ship dates than you can count on, on, two, on two hands, definitely. I was looking in my calendar from uh, two years ago, and there was a, there was a schedule in there that said we were going to ship it like you know, in April, May, June, I believe, before Todd Warren's wedding in September of 89, December, January, February, I can at least five or six. What are you going to do now that C6 is out? What am I going to do now? I'm going to make friends with my family again. <laughs> Thinking of maybe uh, performing some sort of sacrifice, like throwing C6 into a volcano or something. <laughs> Need some good uh, paraphernalia, you know, maybe just a C6 suspenders or a t-shirt or something, toss it in there. Exactly. Appease the angry software gods. Okay, Mark, you've, you've just shipped C6, where are you going now? <laughs> I'm going to Disneyland, because that's where my family's going next week. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go to Mexico for a week. <laughs> and I may not come back. <laughs> So I think maybe now it's time to loosen our ties, maybe to kick back a little bit. I mean, you see, guys, you're like uh, you're like sea speed freaks, tachophobiacs. I mean, how'd you come up with that stuff? You're knuckleheads, you're maniacs, you're out of control. I mean, you cranked out some of the most sophisticated software in the world. I mean, it's just it just it just it just it just, it just blows me away. I think maybe now. Now it's time to take five, maybe kick back, maybe a couple deep breaths, maybe uh, park the old disc. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, I'll see you here tomorrow. Okay? I'm just kidding! <laughs> Can I go home now? You can go home now. <laughs> okay, thank you.